हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जीके टुडे टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इंडिया इज लास्ट इन एनवायरमेंटल परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो इंडिया स्कोर्ड द लोएस्ट अमंग 180 कंट्रीज इन द 2022 एनवायरमेंट परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स दैट इज ईपीआई एंड एनालिसिस बाय रिसर्चर्स ऑफ येल एंड कोलंबिया यूनिवर्सिटी This index provides a data-driven summary of the state of sustainability around the world. The EPI ranks 180 countries on 40 performance indicators including climate change, environmental public health, biodiversity among others. In this index, India ranked at the bottom with a total score of 18.9, while Denmark was the top scorer and the world's most sustainable country. while the united states placed at the 20th spot of the 22 wealthy democracies in the global west and 43rd overall the relatively low ranking reflects the rollback of environmental protections in the united states during the trump administration the withdrawal from the paris climate agreement and weakened methane emission rules meant that us lost time to mitigate climate changes while Many of its peer countries in the developed world enacted policies to significantly reduce their greenhouse emissions. The conclusions from this EPI analysis suggested that efficient policy results are directly associated with GDP per capita. The economic prosperity makes it possible for the nation to invest in policies and programs that help lead desirable outcomes. As per the EPI estimates only a handful of countries including Denmark and the United Kingdom are on the track to meet net zero emission goals by 2050 and nations such as China India and Russia are headed towards the wrong direction with rapidly rising greenhouse gas emission the EPI projections also indicates that four countries that is China India the United States and Russia will account for over 50% of residual global greenhouse gas emission in 2015 if the current trends hold the projected emission in 2015 metric is a tool that policy makers media business leaders non governmental organizations and the public use to gauge the adequacy of national policies spotlight the largest contributors to climate change and galvanize support to improve the emissions trajectories of those who are out track so this is all about the topic thanks for watching